Good morning, everyone. That was Reverend Coco, Reverend Jason, leading you into the sacred reading and evocation. Reverend Coco, who many of you know is our lead teacher for our life visioning class, of which you can still join on Tuesday nights. I'm just here to say welcome and continue to welcome you to our way of meditation service. I welcome the hundreds of you that were with me yesterday for our intensive, the embracing your soul's purpose, the prayer, the visioning, the meditation that we did yesterday. And I invited you here today in order to stabilize some of the insights that you had on yesterday. For those of you who've been walking this path for a while, you're keenly aware of what an insight is. That word is bandied about quite a bit, but oftentimes people don't know what an insight is. We are a, an avenue of awareness, and we are pure awareness itself. That's our real eternal identity. We're not a body. We're not a mind. We're not just synapses of energy that's moving through the body temple. We are pure awareness. And an insight is an event that takes place in our awareness where we suddenly or incrementally know something that previously we just believed or thought about or heard about. So when you're hit with an insight, that means a universal truth, which is timeless and eternal, has begun to be active in you like yeast in the leaven that's rising. So when one has an insight, they become extemporal, they're out of time, and that insight begins to take over their life. This is why you sit in meditation. Of course, meditation carries the ramifications of healing, the ramifications of coherence of the brain, ramifications of stress relief, ramifications of the immune system becoming more balanced, ramifications of blood pressure becoming more healthy. It has many biological and psychological ramifications. But primarily meditation is about providing the context for insight and revelation into your real nature and being. Everything else is an effect, not a side effect, but an effect and a ramification that's potent and powerful, but primarily you sit to wake up. You sit to have an insight. You sit to remember your real nature and your real being so that that which is timeless, which is a part of our topic for the later services, that which is timeless can flow onto the canvas of time so that you can be the soulful artist using time as your canvas or your journal of your soul's sacred colors, of gifts and talents, as you are expanding the capacity to allow more of the cosmic energy to express through you. Now, all that I'm saying to you in this moment is providing the context for you to come out of merely thinking that you are a meat package here to slog through your human dimension, hoping that bad things don't happen to you so that you can survive to the end of your life or that this is a veil of tears and that one day you're going to go to some place that's better. No, we've rolled away those old theologies into a scroll and put into the museum of the mind to study as to the evolution of human consciousness. But we are aware that as eternal beings emerging from the eternal, this is very important, I know it sounds simple, but we have emerged from the eternal to reveal that which is eternal on the canvas of time. Now, why is the word emergence so important? Because oftentimes, when they, people hear we were created in the image and likeness of God, 
they have a misunderstanding about time and they actually begin to believe that there was a moment where we didn't exist. We were created. There was a, there was a moment where we didn't exist and then we became. No. We emerged from the eternal in the same way that a wave emerges from the ocean. Ocean, and this is an analogy, of course. The ocean, three-fourths, covers three-fourths of the planet. And then what does the ocean do? The ocean waves. Waves emerge from it. So the wave always existed. And then it emerged as an individualized expression of the ocean. You've always existed in the eternal. You emerged as an individualized expression of the eternal. And what was created? What was created is the faculty of being able to think independent of circumstances. That was, the, that was created. Now, that faculty is called the image and likeness of God. Not your body, because God is formless, you see. So we emerged from the eternal to, a, to reveal the eternal in time. So you sit to have an insight so that the timeless truth of your being, love, inspired wisdom, beauty, transformational knowledge, intelligence, become active in you. You don't get those qualities in school. You don't necessarily get those qualities from the society that you live in. They're intrinsic to you. And hopefully, if there's real education, which means to pull out from within, those qualities, uh, the conditions are created so so that those qualities emerge and become active in you. In our society, you know, it's very difficult to occur because we're bombarded, as I was teaching a little bit yesterday, by the lowest common denominator of the human experience on a regular basis. It's called new, the media. And so it's difficult for the condition to be met for those qualities to emerge. So what happens in the human consciousness is that people basically walk around in fear and worry, anxiousness, anxiety about the next negative thing they may happen on the planet. But what carries us forward? Visionaries. Individuals that are allowing insight to occur out of time that they can capture the possibilities that lie within us all and see that individually for their own life and collectively for the species. So that we're literally walking on this planet in the world but of a higher frequency. Carrying the cosmic Christ within us. Carrying the Buddha field. Carrying the awakened awareness. The ramifications are awesome. That means as you become an instrument of this truth, timeless that is, Your actions carry the eternal. Whether you are sewing a dress, sweeping your floor, recording some music, writing a novel, teaching a class, whatever it is your particular task is in that particular moment, you are carrying the eternal into time. You are rebroadcasting the sacred broadcast of let there be light, let there be love, let there be beauty, and becoming a vibrational, holographic, quantum field of possibility that everywhere you go, there's an uplift. And you are not falling into the frequency of being a killjoy. You know there are individuals that when they come into a room, they kill all the joy. They're so serious that the joy is sucked out of the room. And then the individuals that are buoyant, they come into a room and party breaks out. Joy happens. 
You don't want to be a killjoy. You want to be an individual that brings the light and the love and the beauty and the harmony and the wholeness. And you take life reverentially. There's a great difference between being serious and reverential. Reverential, you revere the presence of love and beauty and wholeness. You reveal the sacredness of each and every individual. You have a deep reverence for the art that you see everywhere. And I'm talking about the flowers, I'm talking about the grass, I'm talking about the beings that you see. You see the artistry of the spirit. You have a deep reverence for it. And that reverence allows you to do your task with excellence, whatever your tasks are called to be in any particular moment. But because you're living from an expanded point of view, you become aware that there's nothing serious going on on the planet. But there's a lot going on that's reverential. Now, the more you expand your awareness, the more you understand what I'm saying. Because if you can expand expand your awareness and step back, you will see that behind every intense, cataclysmic, chaotic experience, there's an underlying order seeking to emerge. And you begin to live from that emergent space rather than from the emergency space. I'm planting some seeds here for you so that you know that when you're sitting in meditation, You're becoming keenly aware that there is something that's untouched by time, untouched by experience, untouched by false beliefs, untouched by people's perceptions and points of view. It is what it is forever. And you're allowing yourself to be that which is forever to be active in you. And you know what that leads to? Spiritual liberation. Freedom. So that you're able to walk on this planet with all of the mayhem that's in the human experience. But you are a peacemaker and a peacekeeper. And then you hear those sacred teachings. Hmm. The peace that I give unto you, not that the world gives unto you. This is what the great master teacher said. I give you peace. Not the peace that the world gives but the peace that comes from an awareness of the Christed nature of your own being, the Christ presence, you see. Mm. I think it's time for me to be quiet so that we can sit in practice. Mm-hmm. Am I on now? So we stop in this moment. You may hear the sulk music playing as we, we sit. And that is that frequency that allows the static of the surface mind to be transmuted. That we can enter into this space more easily, more profoundly. So with our feet placed on the ground, unless you're in a full lotus position, with our hands facing upward as a sign of receptivity and availability, we tap the space between the eyebrows as an activation of deep remembrance that we can see without eyes, without physical eyes. That we can catch insight that is beyond physicality, but becomes the avenue of our awareness. And we establish the soulful intention to wake up to our glorious nature. Sometimes it might be difficult for you to put the word glorious nature in context with your own being. Maybe no one has ever told you that you're glorious, that you're wonderful, that you're magnificent, that you're beautiful. And so you hear it now. There is something glorious about you, something beautiful, 
something wonderful, something timeless, something eternal, something that allows you to be a one-of-a-kind expression of the infinite. And so we're establishing an intention now that that which we believe now becomes active in us, an insight. That we go from merely believing that two plus two is four into having an insight into the revelation of two plus two being four or the revelation that our life is at one with the life of God. And so we sit with this intention. Oh my God. We sit with this intention. This is where our attention comes into play we are embracing our sacred intention and the feeling tone of that intention to wake up we have a simultaneous awareness that our body temple is breathing and you may notice that you don't have to effort at this. We're not practicing pranayama right now. We're not augmenting our breath. We're just watching it. The nitrogen, the oxygen, the hydrogen, all that that the body needs is just being extracted from the air. I mean, we don't have to do it. The body's doing it, but it's doing it presently. It's not doing it in the future. It's not doing it in the past. It's handling it all right now, and we're witnessing it, which, keep, which keeps us present, not flying off into the future, not flying off into the past. right here, right now, where our intention is, where our body is, where our breath is. We are rich enough to pay attention. Add two more components to the sitting. We activate deep listening with our entire being, not just with ears, but we listen with our entire being as if the greatest secret in the world was being revealed to us. So there's an availability, an openness, a yielding that we may catch the eternal broadcast of let there be light, and love, beauty, and intelligence. We add the component of this is our very first time practicing the art and the science of meditation, paying undistractability to the presence that's never an absence, the presence of God.
be mindful of your attention. If you've drifted into the future or the past, come back to this moment where your breath is. And embrace your intention of waking up to your glorious nature, the light that lights up every man and every woman that comes into the world. your attention. You have the capacity to govern your attention. That it is not being hijacked by the world of effects, corporate media, fear and anguish. You're maintaining the what is called the high watch. Prayer without ceasing consciousness. Where is your attention?
Oh, it gives me great joy for us to, together, be pulled into the revelation of gratitude and thanksgiving, and allow the great joy of the universe, the great ecstasy of creation, to so be in tune with our soul that we are vibrating with the ecstasy of the multidimensional universe and gratitude takes over. Come with me into the field of gratitude right now. Come with me into the field of being grateful for everything and no thing at all. In this consciousness of gratitude, do we allow for every breath that we take to expand our awareness that we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful in this consciousness of gratitude. Wonder and awe take over our life. And we recognize the great presence, the great power, the great love, the great intelligence that is everywhere. Oh, sometimes clouded by doubt. Sometimes clouded by fear, clouded by worry, anxiousness and anxiety. But the clouds in no way can hinder the sun. And the sunshine of our own being is shining bright. And so we recognize God right now. The central sun of our own being. And feel so at one with the warmth and the brilliance of this sacred sun. That the very word that is being spoken is the word of God. Oh, I speak it for each of us. Which represents the one of us. One God, one power, one presence, many names, one nature, love. It is spoken that we may be free to reveal it today. Reveal its dynamic wholeness and wellness and well-being. That every organ action function of our being may be a revelation of the wholeness of God. That our mind may reveal the one mind of God. That all things work together for our good because we live in a progressive universe and everything is working together for our good. That which appears to be done to us is actually being done for us. That we may step up and be more of ourselves. I name this day good. This sweet day of worshiping together in this sacred community known as Agape International Spiritual Center. That's right now embracing the entire planet. All sentient beings. That we may glow together and be the rich condition for the next step of the evolution of our species. That peace and love and harmony and generosity, creativity may reign supreme. Oh, we give thanks for this. We give thanks for this. And we allow it to be so. Therefore, we can say unequivocally. And so it is. Even now. And especially now. Amen. Now, so be it. We let it be. Mm. Thank you for joining with us, all the people around this globe celebrating the life divine in this way of meditation service. Absolutely appreciate you. And your soul is in glee that it gets to participate with these thousands of people around the world in this sacred moment of coherence. This is our moment in which we get to leap into generosity, practicing the feeling tone that all of our needs are met. That's one of the ways that we practice. The, 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 the universal presence through its law responds to a feeling tone within us. And so when we give, when we, when we celebrate giving, and we're actually feeling that we have our need met. And when we feel that we have our need met and we back that feeling by an action called giving, it's matched. 
And then we discover that the hands of the giver are never empty. We demonstrate, we magnify, we manifest harmonizing prosperity in our life. So today, give like you've never given before. Extend. Some of you are regular givers. Give, give a little bit more, just a tiny bit more, so that you can see that you keep expanding in your, your givingness. Those who haven't been giving, maybe your mind has been, well, I don't really have enough to give. I don't know. Give a little something. Prime the pump. Not just for agape, even though it assists us in doing the work we're called to do, but for yourself so that you can become permanently prospered through the right use of the law. The right use of the law is called righteousness, right useness of the law. Don't use it backwards. Use it forwards. So we stop in this moment, and what do we do? We give. We give thanks. We give thanks that we have something to give. We bless it so that it is magnified and multiplied through our giving so that as we give, and agape gives and, and creates ministries and programs and projects, evolutionary collaborations, and agape gives uh, to local and global communities, our giving is magnified throughout the entire world. And the giver is blessed as well. And so it is. Amen. So veterans, you know what to do. Thank you for your generosity. You've allowed for us to be more than sustainable during these last couple of years when healthy people were being locked down during this pandemic. You assisted greatly. Continue in your assistance. Thank you so very much. Those who are just leaping into the giving process, this is what I want you to do right now. You can begin by taking out your phone, your smartphone, and you can text the word give. Follow these instructions right now. They'll be on your screen. Text the word GIVE to 424-321-6243. As you text the word GIVE, the your phone will prompt you. You then sh choose the amount you wish to give today, and you can choose the regularity of the giving. Maybe you like to give that amount every week or every other week, once a month to start. But you can do that right now. No hesitation. You can go to our website at agapelive.com. The donation is at the top. It is the word donation. You follow those instructions. Give today. You can, if you're on our Facebook page or my personal Facebook page, either one. There's a public first, uh, Facebook page of Michael Bernard Beckwith. You can, you can do that. Or Agape International Spiritual Center. You've got to do Agape International. You can give on the Facebook page. You can mail it in. 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. Send yours in right away. So those are the ways that you can give right now. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a humorous and pleasing to me when people tell me that they give multiple ways. That for some reason they like to, to text or donate, then they like to send in a letter. Sometimes they like to do it on Facebook or they do a little mixed bag of giving. It's a beautiful thing. However you want to give, just do it. You, your heart's going to be so happy that you do. I'll be right back. Practitioner Jason Benefield is going to come forward and highlight some of the wonderful things going on at Agape. Thank you, Reverend Michael. Good morning, Agape. We have a few highlights for you today, so visit the Agape website at agapelive.com for more details on all of this. All times listed are Pacific times. If you've missed Awakening, Embracing Your Soul's Purpose and Meditation, um, Visioning Virtual Intensive with Reverend Michael yesterday, you can purchase access to the archive until August 11th. The archive is available 24-7, so you can watch and revisit Rev's dynamic teaching, meditation, visioning, and activation often as you like. Whether you're searching to discover your soul's purpose or you're deeply aware of your calling and desire for a greater sense of spiritual reset, renewal, and empowerment, this intensive will serve you. Sign up today at agapelive.com. This class is still open. Your life vision is calling you. Are you ready to catch the highest idea of your life straight from the field of infinite possibilities? Then tune in with Reverend Coco Stewart, Agape Minister and founding, minister, uh, and founding member, along with Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith, and take a deeper dive into the principles and practices revealing his book, uh, Life Visioning. This six-week course has begun 
but you can receive the recording from the first class and be up to date, register now. Agape University invites you to celebrate with us and honoring the global professional practitioner graduates and minister, um, master practitioner inductees. Join us for the 2022 co commencement ceremony, which will be live streamed on our website and will be broadcast on Facebook Live Saturday, June 18th at 10 a.m. Today, Tina Agape, ages 14 through 19, are online at 11.15 a.m. for information join and click on the Teen Agape banner and web, on the website. Preteens ages nine through 13 meet at 2 p.m. Children ages three through eight meet at 3.30 p.m. Both are on live Zoom. Join and get your Agape Youth Fun Pack and email at agape live, um, at revleon at agapelive.com. Today, One From The Heart is offering our online bereavement support group for those who have experienced physical loss of a human loved one at 2 p.m and animal bereavement support group for the loss of an animal companion at 4 p.m. Register on our website and click the appropriate bereavement support banner. The Crisis Support Clinic offers Zoom mini counseling sessions every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. To receive details on your first come, first serve complimentary one-on-one -on -one session with a licensed practitioner, email crisissupport at agapelive.com. This is offered to the community at large, so, attend, uh, so your attendance uh, is uh, needed. Thank you. Monday through Saturday, see you on Facebook at 8 a.m. for daily prayer, 12 noon for meditation. Go to agapelive.com for details. Agape Spiritual Community Gathering is in session. Join us every Friday at 5.30 p.m. Email scg at agapelive.com for information. For years, Reverend Michael has taught us about components of good, healthy living, our spiritual life and enhancement uh, our, with daily prayer, affirmative prayer, meditation, fellowship with open-hearted, uh, like-minded people, our mental and emotional health is purified with study, forgiveness, and high intentionality, and our physical body is taken care of with the exercise that, fix your, that fits your uniqueness, proper uh, nourishment, proper hydration, and ideal supplementation. Regarding ideal supplementation, the RAF has finally released AdaptoZen in partnership with Nutrize. AdaptoZen is comprised of various super formula that Rev has taken for years to maintain his health and energy all condensed into one product line, AdaptoZen Superfood Greens and the Vitamin D3 K2 Drops. Boost your energy, mood, and immunity, and give your body temple the high quality nutrients it needs to thrive so you can maintain your health to live optimally, especially during times of high stress. Go to Nutrarize.com, click on AdaptoZen, and get 10% off your first order. Peace and blessings. And peace and radical blessings. We stop right now as you are making your donations, your offerings, your gifting, your tithing, whatever word fits where you are right now in your giving evolution. We turn within right now and we feel the tsunami of generosity flooding in a very powerful, beautiful, artistic, magnificent way into the coffers of Agape International. We feel the feeling tone of all of our needs being met. We feel the feeling tone of all of our ministries being fueled and funded by the Spirit of God through all of these wonderful beings that we may live in the overflow of generosity and beauty and abundance and affluence and opulence and absolute harmonizing prosperity that we may do the work according for us to do as a spiritual community. All needs met. We feel it in our bones and give thanks for this. And we allow it to be so, and so it is. Amen. Thank you so much for your generosity. If you've been glued to, to your uh, computer or your television watching us and haven't gotten up to give yet, do it now. As we get ready to close out with this sacred song by Charles Holt, a song written by myself and Tim McAfee Lewis, as Jason reminded you, you still have time to sign up for the Life of Visioning course with uh, Reverend Coco Stewart and myself, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. 
And these are recorded as well. So if you're in a different time zone, you can sign up and then watch it and practice at your convenience. And as Jason reminded you, you can still have access to the intensive that I facilitated yesterday. And for those of you who did sign up for it, there was a, a number of you that did. You have access to it until August 11th. You can re review it and continue to practice for the next uh, couple of months. Let's practice together. We are a practicing spiritual community. Listen to this. I forgive me. I forgive me. We're releasing the debris of the mind. Everything that I've been holding All of the pollution that we've been holding on to. We let it go. I surrender. We're surrendering to the next stage of our own evolution. I surrender. To our becoming. I'm ready, I'm ready for my great transformation. My it's happening now. Listen. I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, infinite spirit, Lord God Almighty, great God of the universe that surrounds us, that's within us, that is our very life and being, we yield to the greatness that lies within us today. And we allow for our life to be an anchor point for brilliance and beauty and generosity and absolute creativity. That our time on this planet is a time of uplift and inspiration, encouragement, and continued transformation from glory to an even greater glory. Oh, we give thanks for this, and we allow it to be so. That's why we can say very strongly, and so it is. Amen. Have a beautiful day. It's up to you.